Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is Raznak and welcome back to Factorio. I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. If you're watching this, it is Saturday. And uh, like I said, hope you're having a great, great weekend. Let's let's just get to it. Let's get right to work. As the thumbnail said, today we're going to be working on adding some new stuff to our bus or our main line. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But in the last episode, we got our iron smeltery up and running. You can see that here. Uh, just a just kind of a standard what standard in-game smeltery, kind of how I like to do it. Um, this is just kind of how I've learned to do it over time. Uh, but we got our iron feeding in coal and all that stuff. And you can see here, I went ahead and set up the same thing. It's the exact same process, but I just did it with copper. So I have our copper coming in. I have all that set up. And that way we have plenty of iron and copper for what is about to happen next. So you can see this This is going to be kind of an expansion here. Uh, this is called ghost placing. Placing. If you don't know what ghost placing is. Placing. Sorry, I can't talk. Uh, you grab an item and if you hold down shift, you see a little ghost show up and then you can place that. And what it is, is just a placeholder for later use. It's something that you don't have to use right away, but it just kind of helps you plan out what your next steps are going to be. Um, it also helps work with blueprints, which is a, a, another whole concept. You can actually download blueprints for this game. If you don't want to make your own designs, you just place down the blueprint and then you can kind of... It, it does all the work for you. I like to figure this stuff out as I go. I think that's the fun part of the game. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to add some new stuff to the line. This is, I, normally I build left or, or right. And on this playthrough, I'm going to build up, um, which is a little different for me. It's not what I normally do. Uh, just because the way this map is with the forest around us, and I don't want to cut down that forest, we're going to try to put our factory in... in in kind of a natural position or as natural as it can be so what i want to do over here is i'm going to make a, a couple new items to put on the bus along with iron and copper we're going to make some um circuits and we're also going to make some gears uh, i went ahead and queued up a, some ins let me queue up some more inserters because we're going to need more of those um put those long inserters so the red inserters are a long inserter, and I'll show you what those are. We have standard inserters and we have our factories. But normally I like to build past my smelter, smeltery, but we're going to, like I said, we're going to do things a little different just because the way this map is. Um, I mean, we already, we already are cheating because we have it on peaceful. So it's going to be a little different here. But what I like to do is let's go ahead and get our, uh, let's just get some gears being produced. Gears are really, real easy. Um, and remember, in Factorio, room is your friend, right? Especially in Peaceful. We don't have to worry about the biters attacking, so defense isn't important. So really, having space is, is very, very essential um, for Factorio. So what we're going to do is we're just going to... We're going to drop down a couple of factories like this. And in fact, I did that. And then... We're going to, we want a feeding line here, right? So we're going to put some stuff in here. These are going to make gears. So we're going to switch that to gears. We're going to switch that to gears. And, and as you can see, all we need is iron plates. So it's, it's going to be very easy to figure this one out. Then we want to feed back. And then also what I want to do, we're going to skip one space. Because we want, I'm going to show you, we want on two lines. So this is going to go back into the bus, up a factory here, factory here. Let's turn those into gears. And, oh, can't reach. This and this. So pretty much a very, very basic setup. Not hard at all, and it's easily expandable for your gears. And, and that's it's kind of what you want. Um, because you're gonna lose, you're gonna use a lot of gears. Now, sometimes you can build these gears uh, close to where they're gonna be used, and sometimes building on site, as I call it, or um, there's another word for it, and I can't think what it is. Locally, like you can build the gears locally wherever your production is. But I, I like to have gears on the the actual assembly or the bus. Now, what I mean by bus, I keep saying bus is is this concept right here. So what it is, is there's this giant line 
of material. Oh, got some research finished. Let's fire that back up. It's this giant line of material that runs all the way through your factorial setup. And, and you kind of create these what, areas to branch off of. And, and I'll show you what I mean here. So you can see we have iron and copper. We want that to flow all the way through our factory because we're going to use this quite a bit. So what we want to do, I can might as well queue up belts because we're going to need a bunch of belts. In fact, I have a factory making belts, so we should be okay. I have a little science, just a tiny little science setup. We're going to do that in a later episode. Um, but I actually have some, some stuff queued up. So automation, automation is essential. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to pull off of this, this bus. By pulling off the bus, we're going to bring material over to where we're producing it. And there's a little trick to that that I've learned through the days. So we're going to put a splitter here, right? We're going to... Remember, everything in Factory being changed, and then we're going to do an underground belt, because remember, underground belts skip four spaces. What that does, that gives us room later on to run more belts if we need to. So, one, two, three. So, we can put four copper belts here. We can run steel. We can run stone and coal. We can run all these things up through our bus, and we don't have to worry about them being interrupted, right? And that's kind of the trick. And then here... Uh, let's do one more. Again, room is your friend. There we go. And just like that, we have steel running all the way down the line. Like I said, this is an expandable setup. We don't have to make it real big right now, but later on what we can do is we can just keep adding factories and we can bring this all the way around. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the iron this way. And that way we can feed both sides of the factory. Let's grab some power. while we're walking this way economy of motion work simplification that's a phrase look it up <laughs> it's called economy of motion work simplification which is you want to do stuff in one go uh i like to have kind of that stuff in the middle so what we're going to do exactly as it the plan is we're going to bring those gears all the way down the belt and it'd be nice to have two rows of gears and we might expand two rows of gears later on or two belts of gears but for for early game we just need one so one is enough now let's grab our power poles which we'll queue up a few more of those while we're working and we'll run power this way again just hold shift or just hold down your mouse button and run again it doesn't have to be pretty it just has to be functional at the moment that up that one goes there boop, boop, boop. and boop. and just like that we are making gears now if you look at these inserters inserters have a different mechanic inserters only drop on one side of the belt so as you can see here this inserter on this side is dropping on the far side of the belt or the way side i like to call it the uh, the far side of the belt or away where this one is dropping on this side of the belt. So what you have is you have items on both sides of the belt, which is very important later on. You want your belts to be full. Otherwise, you lose productivity. And you don't want to lose productivity in Factorio. All right. So we have our belt set up. And then also what I also like on the line are circuits. Circuits are these little green things right here. And you use a ton of them. If you look at all of our more advanced items are miners, our factories, our inserters, all this stuff uses circuits. And I, I've got a little setup that I picked up along the way with the circuits. And uh, so what we need for circuits is very easy. You need iron plate and copper cable. Now we don't want copper cable on the line because copper cable is crafted extremely fast, 0.5 seconds. It doesn't take long at all. So copper cable can be one of those items that you build locally. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little little setup here. Just really quick. Again, leave yourself some room. So leave like one, 
you know, just kind of leave yourself some room here in case you want to run and build stuff this way. You have room to run supplies. So we're going to do one, two, three, just like that. Actually, did I do that wrong? No, I did that right. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three, just like that, right next to each other. And then you're going to kind of space this one up where, where it can feed because again, ratios, right? They call it ratios. If you look right here, it takes three copper cable to one iron plate. It, we can craft one, one copper plate every 0.5 seconds. So it's the math. I, I can't do the math in my head. So we need three copper cables every half a second. And this makes one copper. This makes a copper cable or two copper cables every half a second. So two, four, six, right? Now, if we had one factor, we don't need six, right? And we don't need four. We need three. So what we do that is if you go two, four, six, right? There's six copper cables being produced every half second. What you want to do is you want to feed those cables into two machines. So what you're going to do is you're going to feed one here, one here. This factory is actually going to feed both of these. And now what you have is one, two, three, one, two, three. And you're feeding these copper, these copper cable machines. And I hope that makes sense. And it probably doesn't. So copper cable goes here, here, and here. Circuits go here and here, just like that. Very simple, easy, not complicated again it's it's all about math this game we make two copper cables because if you look at the recipe we get two copper cables every half a second and we need three copper cables every half a second to complete the circuit so in order to keep up one assembler is only making two so we will always be short one so this this right here helps offset that and that's that's kind of the process um i probably made it clear as mud there which I have a tendency to do. So we're gonna bring copper in on this line to feed this. Now, what we also need is we need iron plates, right? Well, so we have this neat little fancy thing. Let's drop. Hey, it really doesn't matter which way we do it. Let's put this, now we have, these are short inserters. We have long inserters. And these long inserters do multiple places. So what we're going to do is this belt is going to be our deposit belt. And then we bring another belt in this way where we can grab iron off of. Now, this inserter is not going to reach this belt. So what we want to do is we want a long inserter. And if you look right here, when we drop that long inserter like this and like this, it grabs from this belt here. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So we're going to do like that, and like that. We're going to do one, oh, do one, two, three, just like so. Inserter, copper in, copper in, copper in, coil, coil, wire, wire, boop, boop. And then we're going to flip these like this. And there is our setup, just like so. And it all makes sense here in just one second when we hook all this up. Let's grab these belts here because this is going to be our copper, which we actually want to bring a bring a second. Should we just loop it around? Mm, we'll just loop it around for now, just like we did here. We'll do again, and this is expandable. And that's that's kind of what you want to do is you want to build where you can expand. And as we need more circuits, we can build more of these just like this out here. That's kind of how it works. Pretty neat, pretty neat little feature. So actually we don't need to go all the way in that. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and connect this up. We're gonna pull off of the copper line this time, which is a little different, right? But almost, it's the same exact process. We're gonna pull right there. We're going to run a splitter. We want to go four places. Work, work like I want you to, machine.
leaving ourselves plenty of room. And we have copper. This copper is going to run around and it's going to feed all of these bad boys. Now we need to bring in iron. Process is the same as before. This is going to be our iron line. In fact, we want this bottom we want this bottom line to be an iron line. Yeah, we want the bottom line to be our iron line. Just like that. And I'm going to run out of underground belts. But I have a little factory making them. And we should have iron. Let's put the iron in this way. And that way we don't. And then when we come out, just like this, we can fix all this later. This is going to be our circuits. And I'll show you that here in just one second. We'll get this hooked up. Let's get some power up here. Ah, man, I really wish we had bigger power poles. Your poles are never big enough. Um, <laughs> let's do. They just cover such a small area. Right? That's what she said. Okay. And just like that, now if you watch, we have circuits feeding both sides, should we? Oh, we got to turn this, we got to turn that. Pull, oh, we got to turn. There we go. And, yep, there we go. And just like that, with that setup, we have circuits feeding onto our bus. And this is going to be a full line of circuits, which we're going to use tons and tons of circuits. We can run this line all the way up. I actually like, again, eventually I want two lines of circuits. Probably two lines of circuits and two lines of gears. But right now we'll just do this. We can fix it all later. But there we go. There's our circuit. So now we have iron, we have copper, we have gears, and we have circuits all on the main bus. This is going to feed our entire factory moving forward. And again, all this comes together later on, pre-planning and pre-thinking. That's going to be it for this episode. I have rambled on long enough and made things as clear as mud for all of you. If you have any questions, of course, you can ask in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about the series. I uh, hope I hope you're having fun with it. I know I am. It's it's great to be able to get back into this game and being able to talk to, talk myself through it by talking to all of you makes it uh, makes it kind of enjoyable and fun for me. And as you can see, just because we have so much production now on the line, we're going to have to increase our copper throughput or iron throughput. We just don't have enough iron ore coming into feed because we have all these furnaces and these are sitting idle, which is just not efficient, right? We want full belts, just like this copper. See how this copper is full? That's what you want. You want full belts. So we'll have to make more miners and some other stuff in the next video. In the next video, we're going to be working on science. We're going to get some science done. Probably, actually, we'll do both red and green science. We'll get both of those knocked out in one episode. Yeah, that's it. And until next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.